Hello everyone, Spencer back from Classic Fireplace and Barbecue Store. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the differences between two of our best-selling barbecues here, and that is the Napoleon Prestige 500 RSIB and the Prestige Pro 500 RSIB. These are two fantastic grills, both made in Canada, so I'll give you a closer look at both of them and go over some of the differences. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to start out with our best-selling barbecue, and that is the Prestige 500 RSIB. So another thing to let you guys know, the RSIB, what that stands for, is rear side infrared burner. So obviously this barbecue has a rear and a side infrared burner on it. So starting off here on the side infrared burner, comes with the cast iron grills. And they like to call this the sizzle zone. So it's great for searing meats. And what you can also do is you have it nice and flat here. You can put some pots and pans on here, raise it up. Get that extra bit of clearance for searing your meats, throw it on the grill. This is a great feature, probably one of the best features of these barbecues is the side infrared burner here. Now moving on to the main cooking surface. These come with the stainless steel 7 millimeter grills, 100% stainless. These are great grills. Um, you also get a stainless steel warming rack here. And as I mentioned, it also comes with a rear infrared burner with a full rotisserie kit. So you can see the spit rod here, and you'll also get a rotisserie motor, a set of forks, counterbalance, everything you'll need if you wanna cook on the rotisserie here. Another feature you probably noticed is the light up barbecue knobs. So right now you can see they're blue, but actually if you were to turn them on, you can see they're now glowing red. This is a safety feature, basically to let you know, even if you've turned off the barbecue completely, this light will still go red just in case to let you know you left it on. Now, another great feature of this barbecue is you don't need any power to it. All of your main burners have their own igniters built into them so you can fire without any power. Now for the lights on the knobs and the sparkers for the side and the rear burner, you actually run on a battery pack. So it's just three D-cell batteries running this. So you just change these once a year and you shouldn't have any issues. Underneath here, there's nothing too fancy. You get a couple of hooks on the doors to store any brushes or towels, anything you might have. And the underneath, you get a bit of storage space. If you were to go with the propane version of this grill, you'd have a little spot to rest your tank in. Um, and then if you go with the natural gas version, you do get a 10 foot hose and a quick disconnect to help hook it up to your gas line. Uh, one of the last features here is on this side where, the, where there isn't no side burner. Uh, you can actually fold this shelf down if you're looking to save a little bit of space or feel free to leave it up if you want to put some of your food or drinks here on the side. So that's probably our best selling barbecue. This is a great barbecue. It's made in Canada, has an excellent warranty on it um, and serves pretty much any purpose you probably have. All right. So now we're gonna move on to the Prestige Pro 500 RSIB. Now this grill is essentially the big brother of the Prestige model I just showed you. Um, so it has the same number of burners and same cooking space, just with some added features. So just right off the bat, looking at it, you can tell this is a bit of a cleaner looking grill. Um, you got some chrome accents on the knobs, the temperature gauge on the side here and on the shelves, um, some cleaner looking doors. And that's just right off the bat aesthetically. Um, but let's dive into some of the actual practical features that make this worth the upgrade. So we're going to start, before we even go under the hood, the main difference here right away is the side shelf. So on the Prestige model, this would normally be your folding shelf. But here, since it's the Pro model, they got to give you some extra features. So this one comes with a little cutting board and a little bucket here. And I've seen people use this in a couple different ways. Um, one way is they just fill this up with ice throw some beer or some cold drinks in there and they have it right by their grill while they're cooking. Another thing I've seen people do is they'll take this out, they'll use the cutting board and this to, to prepare their meats or whatever they're cooking and they let it marinate in here, bring it out and it's just easy transfer onto the grill. So there's a couple things you can do with this, um, just makes your cooking experience a little bit better. Moving on to this side here, you still do get the side burner that you would on the Prestige series. Um, but the upgrade here is actually you get a stainless steel cooking grid as opposed to the cast model. Um, the stainless steel is just great. You don't have to worry about it rusting. 
um, over time. It's just a lot less maintenance dealing with stainless versus cast. And the last thing I'll mention before we drive under the hood is the lights here on the knobs. Um, so you can see here, they look a little bit cleaner and we got the same blue with the red safety glow. The only difference with the Pro here is you have a few more color options to choose from. So if you hold down this button until we go green and release, you'll see the knobs will begin to cycle through a bunch of different colors. Um, you still do get the red safety glow no matter what color you're on. And if you do um, want to leave it just cycling through, you can do that. Or if you get to a color you like, simply double tap and you will stay at that color. Um, so that's just another little cool aesthetic feature. Um, you can change up the color of the lights on your knobs. Um, but let's take a look under the hood of the grill here. So right away you can feel this hood is a bit heavier than the Prestige model. Um, just a bit thicker, holds the heat in a bit better. Um, one thing you'll probably notice is we have interior lights for the grill here. So this is great for cooking at night. It just allows you to see your cooking space a little bit better. Um, you also do get thicker cooking grids here. These are nine millimeter stainless steel as opposed to the seven on the Prestige series. Uh, you also get a thicker warming rack and just a better rotisserie motor. So those are a few upgrades on the interior side of the grill. Now, going underneath here, you can see we also have lights on the underneath interior of the grill. So again, at nighttime, if you're looking for a particular tool or whatever you may be doing, just makes it a little bit easier to see. Um, on the door here, you get a little beer bottle opener with the bottle cap catcher and a few hooks for any tools, towels, whatever you may be storing under there. And you also get some shelves just to make your storage a bit more organized. And then these doors are actually soft closed doors. So that's another really cool feature. Um, you don't have to worry about them slamming or getting damaged. And it's just a little bit more of a, a high-end feel to it. And then another thing, I don't think you can see this on the camera, but I'll show another shot, is you actually get the Napoleon logo here projecting onto the floor. So a lot of people like that. It's kind of like a, a show off to your friends little feature, like makes it look nice and fancy. You get the Napoleon logo shining at night, all your lights going, um, and really kind of show off for all your friends there. Um, so that's the Prestige Pro series. Um, I think it's a really great barbecue. Both of these are honestly very good barbecues. In my opinion, if you are comparing these two grills, um, the Prestige Pro, if you do have that bit of extra money you're willing to spend on a barbecue and you like the features like the interior lights, the different color knobs, the stainless steel grids, um, your little cutting board set up here. If you like those features and it, it, that makes a difference for you, I, I think it's worth spending the extra money to get this grill, especially if you're planning on keeping this grill for 15, 20 years, because they will last you that long. These are great grills. They're made in Canada um, and they are meant to last that long. So if you're planning on keeping the barbecue for its, its full lifespan, I, I think it's worth upgrading and spending a little bit more to get this pro with the thicker grills with all the extra features. But if you do decide to go with just the standard prestige, you won't be disappointed. Still a high quality grill um, and it gets the job done. All right, so if you have any questions still, make sure you leave a comment down below or you can contact any one of our four showrooms for help. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned a bit about these two amazing Napoleon barbecues and we'll see you in the next one.